that. Let's go sandbox, of course. We're gonna need brothers and sisters. And we're gonna randomize this until we get something liking ish. Yeah, there we go. This is music from Thrones of Britannia, really. Sounds a, a little bit like Lord of the Rings. Okay, we want to go full on melee because I'm, we're going to be mercenaries and staying mercenaries probably till the end of the run. We want to go for herd of the sheep so we get some athletics. Train with the infantry. I am live on Twitch. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I am. Uh, here, uh, which one? Defeated enemy battle. I want to start off at 30, so we're not a child. And as for this, uh, I was thinking something like... Like that, because there is no black uh, faction on the map. I think these are more Batanian ones, right? Let's go with... Uh, uh, let's go with uh, this one. I wish Banner Pace mod actually still works. Well, actually, well, I don't know. Maybe it does. I remember it crashing the game all the time. So we stopped using it. So I can... Yeah. We would have had custom banners. Family name. Remember how to spell this? No, I wasn't gonna go for Harl Hadrada, but yeah, we might as well. Yes, yeah, for this, I'm gonna leave it on the easiest and up the difficulty as we go on, of course. Now, we just need to find the okay, stewardship up. I do have service as a soldier, so we're gonna be doing that for a little while. Probably the first stream. And we're gonna form on our own band of like higher tier, high, highest tier Nordic units. Then join one of, well, not join, but become a mercenary for one of the empires. And just follow, well, the idea is going to be to follow the king around. Or the emperor. And try to save his ass in battles. Even though that's going to be, well, that's going to be impossible. But that's sort of idea. And of course, infantry heavy. I don't think I'm going to be recruiting anything else but infantry. Alexandro, you know I don't speak what the whichever which language is that. Let's see. Ah, Spanish. Finally managed to accompany our live live stream. Nice. Well, I'm thinking of doing the uh, streams a little bit earlier, but I still do have a construction site right outside my window, so I don't know up until when they're gonna work, so that's a no-go for now, still. Uh, increase them. Get shield. I think we wanna increase our handling. We are gonna be using an axe, two-handed axe, sword, shield, and javelins. We're, any kind of throwing weapon doesn't really matter. Now. 
We need to find the king. I have no clue where they spawn at because they're not in their castles, which is weird, to say the least. Now they're going to be forging anything. Consider that a waste of time. Let's buy some fish, though. Let's wait for you here for a couple of seconds. Okay. There goes all our money. It's always funny, like, who are you? Because if people of this land wouldn't know who the fuck that is. In the warband, benefit of politics. We can't really do anything else at the moment. Now, I did find uh, how big is his party when he doesn't have enough men to train. When, when I was playtesting this yesterday, it was funny. Like, right, I'm gonna call him Ragnar. Uh, right now, he he just went around like recruiting units. He didn't give a fuck. He lost like he's half half of his kingdom over here to battalions and Flandians. And that was funny. <laughs> How many troops does he have? He has ten units. Just fill stacks for him. So let me just check this. Give me the sword. What Phil Stacks does is remove the uh, cheats for the bots, or bots, the items, so they don't actually just, you know, get troops instantly. They don't cheat in troops, I should say. So it's a bit loo- they have to recruit like the player. This, the, these battles to be like more concentrated even though like it was weird I did see armies of a 700 infantry we are role playing Harald Hadrada or we're gonna be a arranging god type of deal mercenary for one of the empire lords I did see an army of 1700 so it's not like they can't recruit up that many units. Okay, we can train, nice. Now that's... I don't have the realistic battle mark, and I did find something weird. These sticks on the back, on my back, do a shitload of damage, for whatever reason. We're gonna be doing this a little, a lot, in the first few hours. Until we get destroyed by Jalen. Pikes, we're not gonna be on horseback, so infantry folks build as well. Speed. Oh, this might be bad. Like the quest for the service soldier, like the um, random enemies they throw at you here, they can outnumber you really quick in the beginning of the game. I did actually see with when testing Banner Kings, a lot of the lords actually got. Okay, this is not the way to go. A lot of the lords actually got killed off, or cl entire clans got killed off just because they were standing there and recruiting units. And then a big pile of. Bandit showed up and killed them. I 
uh, Warband mod on Future. The problem with Warband, I can't uh, get it to run smoothly. Like it's a... Uh, it has frame skips on my PC for whatever reason. If I do get it to run without any issues, I will do a Prophecy of Pandora playthrough again. Probably. Okay, we're not gonna hit, catch that guy. stuck there is not good. If that army of 150 rebels shows up, we may be dead already. The Sholo Camp mod also has a feature which uh, allows damage over time or to, you know, make enemies bleed, but that I think makes the game too easy because if you, well, too hard and too easy because if you get hit for a lot of damage, you're gonna bleed out no matter what. There's no way to save your hands. Come on, we have archers. Right, we're gonna play, be playing without the heads up display. Or without the HUD. Especially later on. I'm gonna keep down for the training bits and all that, but later, no HUD. Might be a problem if you get stuck here for eternity. I know he's up to 37. He's hiring something at least. Slight disadvantage if you're like tall. You can't really see in front of you. That's why you should always play with the smaller guy. Oh, another one. Uh, they also, do have the realistic weather bond. I may turn down the effects on the arrows there. Mode is easy, I install mod, increase difficulty, no decrease. A realistic battle mod would increase difficulty a lot because the troops just block you. Right? If you want more difficult. There's also Warband Lord and um, dra Drastic Battles, I believe it's called. We can't catch up. There we go. Actually, if we stay here, we're gonna be we're gonna level up a lot faster than we would otherwise with the army tens. Okay, now we want to be the uh, this guy, I believe. 
And one throwing weapons. Simple javelin. That will do. No problem, I'll understand your English. Gods of yeah, literally when you up to the, the AI difficulty up to challenging, they just block every hit like there is no way. Oh, we actually got charm. Uh, Influenced by winning tournaments. I'm still gonna continue like focus stewardship, leadership, tactics, and scouting. The rest will find the uh, companions for. No, oh, please, for fuck's sake, move away from you. They definitely did change the how the AI works. Because before they didn't stay at the settlement for that long. And Phil Stack's mod was the mod was an update for this version of the game anyway. So you know it does work. It's only a matter of like who's gonna get to the villages first and who's gonna recruit the most units. That guy wins. Oh nice. I think this axe is better than the higher tier ones you get later on. Catch him, King. Catch him. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. He missed. Oh, fuck it. They're all sitting there waiting for like recruits spawning and thankfully our guys recruiting all of them, I think. Yeah, two recruits. We want to switch this to logistics. No, it doesn't seem like we... Ooh, we're going to lose that castle over there. Well, I don't know why that castle is surging at all. More Nordic. It's too far out. Yeah, this is good, this is good. If you get stuck here, this this can be really good, actually. You can get up to tier 6 in no time. By the time, yeah, it's, it's badly needed in this game. I don't know why they didn't implement that. Like, it, we, we had a thing, we had the thing in Warband. Like, why not have it here? It's even more needed here because the map is a lot bigger. Good thing I can't burn. Can I catch up to him yet? Maybe I should save up the jealous for when they're running away. Seems like a better idea.
Okay, let's do that. quite easily okay now we do jellies if I don't mess that is Ooh, we actually got a hit headshot that didn't kill him Damage to end the axes, yes. Hmm. We're not getting any. Okay, maybe we're not getting any sewer experience. Not sure why. Maybe because we're still stuck here. Yep. Oh, right, with tier 3 already. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I believe this is the next tier we need to go to. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I can now remember these names. Nord. That's the one we chose, right? Let me go with that. We can swing this, but let's uh, let's choose a different weapon. See, what's the speed on the 102 68 cut damage versus 89? Yeah, we might need to go for that one. We have speed. No, I didn't choose that because, like, I want a Varangian Guard in yet. Yeah. Well, they used two handed axes, pole arms, and swords basically for the most part. They didn't really use, well, they did use spears, but not, you know, they're not depicted as that. They're heavy shock troops. So we're gonna be doing it like this. Uh, as for throwing weapons, I guess we're gonna take these. I'm gonna do spear rework once the Eagle Rising mod actually gets the Greeks in or Macedonians. I do love that you get leadership from doing this, though. Easy way to level it up, actually. And since... Like, when I fought Batanians in the playtesting, and the Valandians in the Empire, it wasn't... that hard. But once we get gone up against uh, the Kuzites, they wrecked the shit out of us. For some reason, they seem to have more um, IRT units. Am I blind? Okay, I am. this somewhat okay maybe not that zoomed in
Which they didn't spawn archers across the map. Like basically the only way to hit an enemy with realistic battle mod is to kick him. Otherwise, no way. Look, I didn't even get a hit in there. Which becomes annoying a little bit, but you know. Troops would know how to block, right? And it's like in, not like in Warband where you can juke the attack, you know. They're doing that constantly. Some more progress a bit faster like this. We don't reach all the enemy. What's up, Carton? How are you? Okay, we're done with the training. Oh, there's a tournament. Probably win that. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at that. 56 leadership already. Experience for all troops. Okay, let's do the tournament. Now, I guess the way to get... Well, sometimes get the better banners is by doing tournaments. And I only seen one good one, the other ones were like, you know, low tier banners. That's a mess. Not get the spear. I think she's not aiming at me. find out that when you level up and change your gear sometimes the game just removes the better armor you had on for whatever reason which is nice of course you wear something fancy the game's just like fuck you let's remove that <laughs> we're not gonna survive that yeah the fucking Hold on, whatever that fucking thing. The stick. The stick of death. Just destroys everybody. Uh, 
appointed scouting. Steward experience. Yeah, we're supposed to be getting steward experience. Okay, we got 21 points in it. Immediately, nice. Oh, we can train again. I mean, you don't need to do this. You can do all of this manually. But you, I don't think you, I think you lose the chance to like increase attributes if you do. Or gain focus points into a certain thing. Party gets no more pel I think you go for the reduced costs. But actually, costs don't matter later on. Or maybe they will, because we're not going to be uh, joining a kingdom or having land or anything. Okay, now we're sitting in here, picking up troops. Nice. So we better we're going to be able to train a lot. our healing rate that will be even better yeah, this thing just destroys everybody just does a lot more damage I think there's it's probably a bug in the The uh, server as a soldier mod. I think that thing is not supposed. I think it does blunt damage, but full blunt damage it would do if it was a weapon, actual, an actual weapon, or something like that. Let's uh, buff that up first. He is recruiting. I think that's the little problem where the the AI wants to recruit the full amount of units they would if they didn't have fill stacks on so that's why they're camping around a lot more just picking up units I also love it when my throwing training turns into a pole ammo match into melee you're supposed to throw those things, you idiots. Uh, I've been lucky in these so far. Still should be going up real quick though. So the names of the towns and the castles did change with this mod. I'm not gonna try and pronounce any of them though. Did he pick up another he did? They did pick up another shield. Also, do have shields block things. On, so, you know, we won't get destroyed by arrows that much. Spotty signs, yes. Right, I could show off the mods. 
Okay, these are Nords of Sergio, that's on Steam. Diplomacy, better time, distinguished service, fill stacks, governors handle issues, improved garrison, perfect fire arrows, realistic weather, RTS camera, RTS command system. Scatter round extended. I'm not sure if we're gonna make use of this, but I'll keep it on. Shields, they block things. Shielded arm. arm. I'm Rite boys. <laughs> Our shields are useless in this game. Unless you buff up the. Uh, unless you get that one specific perk, I believe. That block more, like have a higher block area. Aggregating income, sur surrender tweaks, troop sorting, true ransom, true relations, Zobrax legacy, and uh, serve as a soldier is the last one, I believe. And I might need to pick up a smaller shield, because I can't see from it. Unless I play in first person, who the hell plays this game in first person then? This will let us. Ooh, look at that. Athletics. Nice. Watch the Horse Load series as well. Oh, yeah. That was fun. <laughs> Especially the parts where our, you know, rebel rebellions and sessions and abdications and all that. That was fun. A bit hectic. No, we did fine in that. This with consumption siege engines a little faster, always. We're not gonna be using bows or crossbows, but uh... oh, we ain't gonna hit that. That's for sure. Unless I play. I think he broke a bone. <laughs> sure. Yeah, the, with the. Okay, I can't. Like, since the w wind is like uh, knocking off, knocking our arrows, of course, a little bit. Now this will get, be good for us since we're gonna be up against the uh, you know, maybe. The landings where AI is gonna be missing some of its shots due to the weather. Maybe missing a lot of its shots. Knocked off, knocked up, you mean? Your mom? And you were born? No, eh, not much we could do about that, right? We're here. We have to deal with the world. My parents weren't that bright either. No, my arrows were being knocked off. My parents weren't too bright either. They're like, oh, he can handle himself from like age, what, nine, eight? Yeah, it was fine. Not a big deal. Okay, I think we want to get these up to seven, I believe. Let's get a point into that. That's good. I'm not sure if we can mess with those options here. Uh... Yes, we can actually. Like, I'm gonna leave this on default for now. I mean, if, like, it, it's all on one. What on morale? Oh, 
We're gonna leave this song as is for now. That's why I didn't use it in the last game because you know we're gonna be you know having a uh, horse lords you know I kind of need my arrows to hit. No, no problems, Orc. I'm not, you know, that concerned about it. No, affected by it. Yeah. Not everybody can have a lazy life and all that. It is what it is, as people say. Banner or Emir I think this one gives us more accuracy or something. Oh god, this is gonna be fucking nice. Imagine on the battlefield, like when you can't literally see the enemy. Maybe I should have installed the battle minimap mod. Probably should have. Come on, poke him. I kind of need him to actually kill these, or get them off the horse at least. And damn you suck, king. Okay, never mind. He got two kills apparently. The realistic battle mod, uh, realistic weather, realistic battle, realistic weather does tax your PC more. So, if you have a weaker GPU, maybe you don't use it, depending on how your graph, your graphic settings and all that. You probably can't even run this in low. You can try. Uh, this game taxes your CPU more than your GPU. Just if you play at the thousand men on the battlefield, that is. Because like very high settings. Where is that option? Uh, very high settings is 600. All of this is extra. Like you shouldn't be playing on these at all. <laughs> by the game developer's standards. Rather, we did push Warband up to 5... Was it 5.30 at max for Warband? In One King Conquest, I believe it is. Okay, let's see if the banner is good. Increase range weapon. Well, let's equip that. I mean, we do have jet throwing weapons. It's supposed to give us some buffs. Well, Bands one of your favorite games. You don't play it mo anymore much. Why? The mods for Warband, I believe, are still being updated. Well, some of the mods are still being updated. Prisoner is one of them, I think. But, which people just can't hate, deal with two other weapons for some reason. 
in the training mode. We already got 100 in stewardship, nice. Okay. All right, discard the weapons. Yeah, we need that. In college, so you don't have time. Well, I'm in college. I'm in a private college. I don't know, I have time. <laughs> Depends how hard the subjects are, I guess. No wonder, like, he does, like, what? Four damage. Well, do you at least 50 with that hammer? Okay, I was always the guy who only like I go to college. I'm on. I'm at every class. I just pay attention, and that's usually all I need to get passing grain. And I look up all the stuff we need before a test, or an exam, or an essay. And that's it. I get through easy. Yeah, anatomy psychology will be a bit, a bit harder than tourist management and hotel management, right? Tourism and hotel management. That's or hotel management is my major of sorts. College, uh, uh, college is a bit different here, so it's not like not like over there, not like in the rest of the world. This is gonna be fucking sneaky once, like, you know. Oh, we're ma. Oh, of course, you're gonna spawn behind me. If we're marching somewhere into battle and then, like, a shitload of troops appear from the mist. Or the dust storm. Next Yugoslavia, more the Balkans. Uh, probably it's easy for me because there's not much they can teach you in college about like you can learn about like human resources and all that like you know the all the standards for food and cleanliness and all, all of those things but like uh, you're gonna be dealing with people nobody like nobody's gonna can know what you're gonna go or what you're gonna have to deal with So there's a lot less emphasis on like knowing sh specific shit like it's more about dealing than dealing with dynamic issues. To work in a hotel after this, I could work in any firm that has a managing position. I do have all the same classes, more or less. Oh yes, the sword. I always like to end the swords more than the axes and hammers. They're just super fast. Work at Willy Wonka's factory. <laughs> Train's complete, but let's kill this guy first. There we 
of you. Now training pole arm is kind of pointless, but you know, since we're not gonna be using pole arms, so I believe. We had a shield yet we were killed by a javelin thrower, of course. Okay, let's see, increase gas and no oh, party limit. Let's buff our skeleton first because that's the next thing we're gonna level up with the party. As for this, we need to get to 125, then we're going to switch to scouting. Increase the damage to all melee weapons, yes. I guess we're going to go with thrust, because if we do use a polar arm at some point, it's going to be a spear. sure how long we're gonna be staying in here. Hopefully we move out at some point. Yeah, if... if uh, who are the weapons, man? <laughs> in training. <laughs> Uh, it's not that big of a deal, I can uh, get these up by myself without using the mods or training with the troops. Might take a little bit. It's doable. Or I could just... I have an idea. If I see the guy with someone with this, I could just do it manually. Get rid of them. Okay. Alright, this guy has a soul. We can deal with that, I believe. Having the blizzard on this does lag the game out a lot. As you can see. I'll drop the FPS. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Performance enhancing drugs, you say? Nah. What's the. Not the uh, bodybuilders. What's. what's uh, Oh, natty. Na like natural. Nat like. Whoa, that's such a stupid idea. I'm a natty. Natural and all that. Yet everybody's on some shit. Well, mounted. Okay, we're not gonna be doing a shield breaker, I guess. Okay, now I believe we might be going off, maybe doing some battle. I think he, last time we had like 250 troops, he does go on fight. Oh, this blizzard is gonna... Yeah, I don't think he, they can hit each other. <laughs> Something tells me they can't hit. Okay, now they can. Okay, nope. Definitely not.
Melee isn't good, no. How many damage was the horses? I think we're gonna go for this because infantry gains 10, 15 to all control skills and 15 to all vigor skills. Well, that's gonna be pretty good since we are gonna be only having infantry. Above scouting up. Come on, King, go defend your land or something. I don't think they. I don't think a uh, Sturgeon or Northman uh, armies even like go and try and take out some of the land in territory. Until we declare war on someone else, we're probably not going anywhere. Okay, we got that up to 25. Nice. Uh, ask for different. Oops. You want to click on that. I guess it was, I think we need to do this again. Uh, give me that. Uh, two and an axe. Delivering on onions. A good choice. Not a lot of people eat animal uh, organs anymore. I don't know why. Liver is so good. The last weapon we need a throw. I wish you could like uh, categorize these, like select only melee weapons and select javelins and whatnot. Knob had a spear. Yes. Why does he have to spawn behind us? Thank, thanks, Cameron. Glad you like him. One focus point in one hand, and finally. That's what we need, so we don't like put points into, you know, melee. We put points into the commanding stuff. Taken by 20 50 percent. I think we need speed damage bonus once we're up against higher tier units. As for this, uh, scouting, there we go. We're probably gonna get any scouting while we're inside the settlement, but you know. Pressure. You then. Maybe we should be playing company of heroes too, so we get good. So we, we play.